Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com. Today we're gonna talk about MPM and why I switched from MPM to PMPM. Now, to be actually even more precise, I actually switched from MPM to yarn, and now from yarn, I'm switching to PMPM. Now, one thing you gotta know about MPM, MPM is like the originator you know for no modules and uh, package manager okay for JavaScript and for most of the tools that we use for the front end okay when you use react when you use a uh, webpack you usually download them directly from npm okay now you probably already know that okay so then from there yarn came out and it's part of Facebook and Facebook was like you know what we created something that's gonna make your life easier it's actually faster and that's great you know thumbs up for them but they still haven't solved the issue of being efficient right because every time you do a download of any library out there right every single time that you do that you come in and you download a package every single time that you say npm install all right so like let's say you have low dash version 4.0 and this other project that I'm working on is also downloading Lodash 4.0, right? Every time that I do npm install, it downloads it over and over and over again. If you guys have noticed on your computer, every time that you do my web developer starter kit or you do any type of project that you download off the internet from somebody, you pretty much got to download like 100, 200 Sometimes I've seen 400 megabytes of packages inside of known modules. So it's like, I don't know about you guys. I care about my <laughs> my hard drive. I care about my space. Um, I'm working with, I believe it's like 200 and something gigabyte hard drive on my MacBook. And every time that I come in and I say, hey, npm install, it downloads everything. But once I reach a certain limit, I have to always delete the known modules from older projects that I have. Now, what PMPM solves is basically saying, hey, instead of you having to download it in every single project, right, we're basically only going to download the things that you don't have already in your global area. So PMPM basically downloads, let's say an example, uh, React, right? And once it downloads React, it downloads it once. And every other project that needs it, it just links it to that but it doesn't download it over and over and over again. You're definitely gonna get a boost, but what I love about it is the fact that it's more efficient. It's not just every single time you download something and you say npm install, if you already have that version on your computer, why do you keep on downloading it over and over again? Now, I'm pretty sure npm and yarn will add this later on in the future, but currently, I'm going to be using pmpm. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. So what we're going to do is we're going to install it with npm. We're gonna say npm install, all right? And it's gonna install all of them, all right? All of the packages that we need. And I wanna use this thing as an example because this thing has React, it has HyperApp. I mean, not really React, it has a uh, Gulp, uh, it has HyperApp, has no SAS, it has Webpack. Uh, what else it has a, like a lot of packages here, right? But you're gonna see a big difference between the files that npm downloads compared to the files that pmpm downloads All right, cool. Now I just did this npm install, right? This thing added 1300 packages in 154 seconds <laughs> guys this thing took forever right now most of the time that it, it, it took it basically was with no SAS and that's fine you know installing no SAS takes forever all right but we're gonna look into this folder okay we open this no modules folder and as you can see this thing has so many files so many different dependencies that we don't even know what the hell did it install what the hell did it download like this is kind of ridiculous all the stuff that is, is basically downloaded now I'm gonna show you guys the difference. I'm gonna delete this. Go here, delete, and I'm going to do pm pm install. 
All right. And we're going to see a huge difference. All right. And one thing that you're going to notice is I've already downloaded PMPM, PM, right? But it's looking at all the files and saying, hey, I'm reusing this because I've already downloaded this before. So it's already on a global space. Okay. So since it's already in the global space, it doesn't need to download it. So now the only thing that is really worrying about is dealing with no SAS. Okay. Now this is like something that no matter what, like you still got to go through the hell of no SAS. I'm pretty sure there's some way to get rid of this thing <laughs> at some point is really annoying. And I think that's why a lot of people are also switching to like something like post CSS. But, um, besides that, that's it. All of our packages have been downloaded before. So instead of it downloading them over and over again, like it's just it downloaded it once and it's even less files than uh, the one that NPM was using. NPM downloaded 1300. This thing was like, hey, it's 1100 and we already downloaded them. So we don't have to download them again. Right. And there you go. So you can see it tells you exactly the the projects that well the packages that I downloaded for this project okay and then when we come here into our known modules it's a more manageable uh, folder like it's not 1300 files inside of this you get what I'm saying like now this thing is a, a, a more uh, you know more manageable folder and it's like you don't feel so bad every time that you install a new project. It's like, hey, if I already downloaded this, I don't need to download every single file over and over again. Only give me the files, the ones that are brand new. And then I could literally come here and say, PM, PM, run, watch. And I have everything working. Same way that it did before with NPM and with Yarn. Everything works exactly the same. Application is good. All my files is there. My webpack is working. My gulp is working. So yeah. All right, guys, this is pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys how to install it. It's super simple. So you go to uh, github.com slash PM PM slash PM PM. All right. And then to install it, you could literally use npm right you could either use a standalone standalone script where you copy this into your terminal and put it here and just say okay paste that in or you could just say npm install global uh pm pm all right you come in you paste that there and then once that is installed pm pm install dash G PM PM, which is just to upgrade it. Okay. And what's cool is like, if you already downloaded something, why do you need to download it again? You get what I'm saying? Like it shows you like, Hey, if downloading a, a couple of things, but you already have this modules, you already have this pro uh, this packages, like you don't need to download them again. All right. So as you can see, is basically updating it and that's it guys pm pm version 1.23.2 all right guys i'll see you guys later check this out for real all right love you guys bye hey guys this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website codingface.com go check it out over 20 courses in there that's gonna guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro making sure that you get a job making sure that you come in and you learn all the skills on how to make money on your own as an independent either a freelancer or if you decide to make passive income all right go check us out peace